Now that we've recorded a macro, I want to show you the code that the macro generated as well as associate this, this code with a button. So um, let's go to Visual Basic here within our Developers tab. And then um, now um, if we go under, um, you can see that the, um, the worksheets that you have open are listed over here. And so I'm going to click on Modules and double click that and you can see this is the VBA uh, that was generated when we when we selected cell C13 and then we uh, changed the format of that pivot table. So now I want to take that um, and associate this code with a um, button. So in order to do that, I'm going to come here. Um, let's first go ahead and unformat this. The design format. And then now I'm going to create a button right here. So if we go back to developer and we go to insert form controls, I'm going to draw a little button here. And you can see um, it's basically asking me um, what macro I want to associate with. So I'm going to click format and I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to rename this button format. Great. Okay, so now um, if I click on this, it should format the pivot table for me. So I'm going to click on it. Boom! We got our pivot table formatted. So, um, you know, you could uh, record another macro if you wanted and um, have it unformatted. Or, you know, you could do anything you wanted. Uh, column size, um, calculations, whatever. I just wanted to show you how to record a macro and then associate that macro um, with a button.